So this problem, we're going to find the area of a region bounded below by the x-axis and above by this funky curve right here. So the curve's pretty complicated. I'm not going to try to graph it. But below by the x-axis is super important. That means our graph, wherever our curve is, it's going to be a dx integral. And so I can write the area formula, integral y dx. So we already have y, very happy I don't need to take derivative of that. So that's y. Now regular x is for sine squared theta. dx is going to be x prime times dt. So what is x prime? 4 times 2 is 8 sine theta times the derivative of sine, which is cos theta. So that's dx, and we have our theta values go from 0 to pi over 2. That was also given right there. So we're ready to write the area, 0, pi over 2, y, 3, sine squared theta, tan theta. So that's all y. Now what is dx is 8 sine theta cos theta. Oop, and I left out, I wrote dt, but I meant d theta. All right, how in the world do we integrate this craziness? Remember, tangent is sine over cosine. Uh, we have a three and an eight. Three times eight is 24. Bring that outside, it's constant. So I still have my sine squared, brought the eight and three out, and I have another sine cos. Unfortunately, my cosines cancel. I say unfortunately, because I was hoping for an easy u sub, and I have sine to the fourth. All right, this unfortunately is worst case scenario. You're gonna have to apply the half angle formula twice. And the way you're going to do that, so we can reduce a sine squared to a, a sine to the first power. So you use your half angle formula just on the inside. And then once you have that, you're going to foil it out. And on one of the terms that's squared, you're going to have to use your half angle again. So you do it on the sine squared uh, and then foil it out.